Hello, my name is Christian Walter from TradeVola and today I want to talk a little bit about markets and uh, where you can trade, especially with interactive broker or with any introducing broker, what um, mainly uses interactive broker as the main broker. And um, yeah, here it's written already your gateway to the world's markets. Um, so far, I think you can check this also in the internet. It's one of the brokers what gives you the biggest or the um, yeah, access to most of the different markets. Here you can see the global exchanges. We have America, Europe, Asia, Pacific and uh, Africa as well. But Africa is um, quite um, limited. We can see only um, CTF, uh, CFDs from South Africa included. But let's go back to the start because it's quite interesting what is um, possible to give you maybe a more detailed overview. Um, yeah, for stocks, I think all the main markets, if we start with America, um, you have everything from New York Stock Exchange um, over um, Chicago Stock Exchange. Then we have um, Canada and Mexico as well. So in America, I think there's everything included what you will need. ETFs is the same. It's always um, listed here as um, a different product. Um, but at the end, uh, if you can trade stocks on a market, ETFs should be also always um, positive, uh, possible. Then we have options. Options, um, it's limited only to United States and Canada. For the futures, um, we have exactly the same. USA, Canada and um, Mexico are available. For future options, it's only Canada and uh, um, Mexico and United States. There's also fixed income products like um, bonds or many other listed products, what you can see here. Spot currencies, um, I think they are all major currency spots included. Um, they are should be like uh, I think 25 different currency pairs uh, minimum what you can trade and as well as mutual funds and um, here for everyone who is like um, maybe a long-term investor in, um, in funds you can see here all the different companies we can see here for example um, Allianz we can also see AXA or um, yeah of course everything from BlackRock or from different um, fund emittents I would say here um, you have the biggest asset manager in the world um, BlackRock but you can see the list it's um, it's I don't want to say endless but you can also find um, most of these um, big fund um, companies here um, this was only for United States but also there's a um, global market where we can see again um, Allianz, we can um, see, for example, um, Vanguard from Ireland, um, Vanguard from UK, what is also quite a um, um, big um, fund company and um, to make the whole um, markets a little bit round, I would say. We have also stock futures for Mexico, indices uh, which you can trade on um, United States and um, uh, Canada, as well as warrants. Warrants here for um, United States and Canada as well. Now all the European markets, uh, whereas also Israel included. So if you look for Israel, you have to have a look for um, Europe. It's uh, listed here under Europe um, ETFs as well. There um, are, yeah, I would say main, sorry, um, there's mainly eight countries for ETFs, France, Netherlands, Switzerland, Germany, Spain, United Kingdom, Italy and Sweden, um, but also um, certificates or turbos um, from Germany, France and Netherlands options um, as well for most of the European countries um, as well as futures. For future options um, it's only the UK and um, Germany and um, stock futures are only available for these six countries Norway, Switzerland, United Kingdom, Italy, um, Germany and Spain and um, yeah for warrants only Germany and Switzerland but um, I think so far um, it's one of the 
biggest um, gateways to all the markets. Now we come to um, Asia and the uh, um, Asia Pacific region with Singapore, South Korea, Japan, India, Hong Kong and Australia. Um, these are the main markets. You always have to make um, sure, um, depending on where you're located, that not everything will be available. Um, I think especially if you're based in India, um, I think if you're not based in India, if the stock exchange, there are also some, some things what you need to check. So it's not always available in all countries to make it um, yeah, um, short and easy, I would say. Um, but in general, this information and the data you should always receive. Um, if you can trade these products, always depend on the regulation in your country. For example, in Europe, um, to make a um, quite common um, example, you can't trade US ETFs or most of the US ETFs. Same for, um, I think, ETFs from Canada, as long as you're not a professional investor or um, defined as a prof professional investor, nobody in the European Union at the moment can trade these ETFs. Um, all this information you can also find directly on the Interactive Broker website. If there's anything what you might know or what you're not able to find, leave a comment here and please subscribe to our channel. I would love to welcome you um, to one of our next videos. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon.